Two of the most powerful tools for quickly removing distracting elements from an image are the healing brushes and the patch tools. We'll start with the healing brush. There's the spot healing brush and just the regular healing brush. The great thing about the spot healing brush tool is that you don't have to do anything. All you need to do is paint over the things that you want to remove in the image. So let's zoom in. I'm going to use Command plus once and then twice. Then I'll use the space bar in order to move over so that we're looking at these wheels from the train. So to use the spot healing brush, all I want to make sure is that I've got the type set to content aware. If I've got it set to content aware, then Photoshop is going to try to compare nearby image content and try to maintain details such as shadows and object edges. So to remove these distracting elements, I'll just paint right over them. But if I'm painting right over them now and we look at my layers panel, this is actually destructive image editing. So I'm replacing pixels on this background. As you get more advanced, that might be fine. You might say you know you want to remove those elements so you can work right there on the background. But when we're just starting and we're not sure, we might want to do our editing on a separate layer. So I'm going to create a new blank layer and I'm going to call it retouching. And then I'm going to be sure that the sample all layers option is toggled on. So now when I click and drag with my healing brush, my spot healing brush here over all of these areas that are distracting, Photoshop is actually going to correct those not on the background layer, but on the retouching layer. All right, so let's continue to remove these elements over here on the right. Just remove a few more of them. And then let's move over to the right side here. I noticed there was this distracting piece of wood here and then this here as well. So I'm going to switch tools now. Instead of using the spot healing brush, I'm going to use the healing brush tool. I'm going to make sure that it's also going to sample all of my layers or at least the current layer and below. In this case, it's the same if I select either one of those, but you do have to be aware because if there were layers on top of the retouching layer, you have to decide whether or not you want to include them. So I'll use current and below and I have two options, either aligned or unaligned. If we toggle off the alignment, then when we set our sample point, Photoshop is going to continuously go back to that specific sample point. If we want the sample point to move in alignment with the areas that we are healing, then I will toggle that on. So in this case, I'm going to toggle it on. And now you'll notice that there isn't a content aware mode here. And that's because basically you've taken control of the tool. You are the content aware. You're going to hold down the option key on the Mac or the alt key on Windows, and you're going to tell Photoshop where to sample from. So I'm going to hold down the option key and sample over here on the right, release the option key or the alt key, and then paint over that area. So I've basically told Photoshop to sample from that area to replace another area. So I'm kind of the content aware in this case. All right, let's return to those two wheels and I'm going to switch to the patch tool. I'll select it from the list and it also has the option to do content aware. So I want to remove this sticker here and we could also remove this area. I might want to do it in two separate small little patches. So I'll just drag like a lasso around it. In fact, you can start with a lasso tool, but you can also just drag with the patch tool. It's set to sample all layers, so it will put the retouching on the retouching layer. And then I'll just drag in order to tell Photoshop where I want it to sample from. It did a good job there, so I'll go ahead and use Command D to deselect. And then I'll select this area right here. And again, just drag over into an area that has kind of the same shadow and texture and release the cursor. Now I did notice there was a little spot right here. So when you've got a teeny spot like that, I would just switch right back to the spot healing brush and just give it a quick little brush right there. All right, what about this label here? Let's switch back to the patch tool and I'm just going to drag along here, drag down and select that area 
and then just move it a little bit over to the left. When I release the cursor, it'll go ahead and patch that. Again, Command D or Control D on Windows to deselect. Now, sometimes the edges are going to be a little bit rough. So again, you might want to switch to just the regular spot healing brush and then paint over those edges until you get the blending that you want. One of the interesting things that I will just point out before we wrap up, when you're using the patch tool, if you find that it doesn't patch exactly the way you want it, you can use the structure and the color options if you're in content aware. If you're just set to normal, all you have is a little diffusion option. But with content aware, you can modify the structure as long as you still have the marching ants. So the structure changes the way that Photoshop blends the texture. And if you set it down to maybe a structure of one, it's going to be very strict and it's only going to blend the edges. So you might want to move that up to maybe medium or even higher in order to soften the blending. And the color slider, well, that's a bit more obvious. It's going to help trying to blend the colors. And so if you set it down low, it won't do as much blending, but as you raise that value, it's going to increase or enable the shifting of colors to blend a little bit better. So as you can see, the healing brush and the patch tool can be quite helpful when retouching distracting elements in Photoshop.